uh, a few days, a few weeks ago, in one uh, mass meeting, MP Bindal Sarma has guaranteed that almost, uh, gar almost guarantee that he would somehow uh, conduct a historical debate in the House of Commons as well before March 2016, which is very important and such historical debate was held in the House of Lords as well and they have spoken up very well regarding Gaikas and we hope that that would happen somehow and now I would like to request uh, Sarmaji to say your valuable words. Thank you very much. Namaskar. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, it's always a pleasure to come and join you all in all the campaigns we started many, many years ago. We are still fighting for the rights of the workers in the country, in Britain. We are still fighting. I'm not going to make a long speech, but I'm going to say a few words First, that as, not only as a chairman of the Gurkha group, I'm committed to fight for the rights of the Gurkhas all over the world. I have attended various meetings. We have conducted some evidence sessions and the reports were produced. And we will carry on further making sure that the recommendations in those reports are adhered to by the government in this country. I promise that there will be a further debate in the parliament. Yay! I promise you that those letters will be delivered in the House of Commons and the members to the House of Lords. And the letters you have given me today, which I received, and I will be making sure that ha delivered at number 10 Downing Street and to the leader of my Labour Party, Jeremy Corbyn. Oh, yeah. So it's not end of the story. We need to work together from the myself and my colleagues in the parliament and the community activists like yourselves to work together to put pressures and bringing the government to accept our demands how long it takes we will carry on fighting and see which way the god takes us i will i firm believer that in a democracy you need to fight you put your case forward and then wait for the results. But don't sit at home. <laughs> I can see you. I have seen, look at the groups you are here today. I have seen you in the previous meetings and I'm sure that you will all come in the future meetings as well. Whenever you are here. So, best of luck for today where we are going to have celebrations of 200 years of our relationship. I hope that that will, the message will go, that 200 years of relationship to celebrate it on its own is not good enough. We make sure, we make sure that those 200 years of relationships bring some justice to the people. And we will carry on asking for that justice and fighting for that justice. Once again, thank you very much, all of you coming here today. And I look forward to working with you in the long run for the benefit and the advantages of the Gorkha people in this country. Thank you very much. I was asked last time we met a few weeks ago, regarding writing to David Cameron, the Prime Minister, asking for, when he's meeting Mr. Modi, 
to make sure that our relationship between India and Nepal, for whatever reasons, should not be destroyed. The historical links we have, the general relationships we have, what happened in the last few months, I hope that is not repeated in the future. And I promise you, and I assure you that I have already written to David Cameron asking for that item on the agenda but when he's meeting Mr. Modi. Yeah. That was the commitment I gave last week and I have done already done that. I hope David Cameron will raise that issue with our Prime Minister, Mr. Modi, when he meets in 11th or 12th of November. Okay? Thank you very much. Shall we just do a photo session? Tinjana made a boxing hour. Ek ek kota. Ek ek kota. Budo manchala yo. And what I understand from your speech is not number. Tinjana madre yo. Does not. I'm not that number. I'm not that number. Captain Sir, 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 Captain S